may be seated. Good morning. My name is Keenan Thompson, and this is my story. I was born and raised in a good Christian family. Growing up, we went to church just about every Sunday, and because of this, I thought I was a good textbook Christian. But in reality, I was far from it. While I did believe in a sovereign creator, to me, faith was more about showing up and checking off the boxes. I wanted everyone else to believe that I was a good Christian, even if I knew in my heart I wasn't really following Jesus. <clears throat> After high school, I joined the Navy and served six years as a Navy corpsman or medic attached to a Marine Corps unit. While the military was good for me in a few aspects, it was also bad in others. I allowed my surroundings to isolate and influence my life. Loneliness, depression, and the loss of brothers in the line of duty or to suicide created a void in my heart, soul, and mind that I tried to fill with lust, alcohol, hatred, partying. But these things only amplified that void. <clears throat> in 2019, my unit deployed to Iraq. I found myself in a combat zone heavily surrounded. I was one of four corpsmen in charge of the health and well-being of a company of 300 Marines. Every corpsman's biggest fear is losing a man under his responsibility, and I was no exception. These were my brothers, and I didn't want to lose them. Overwhelmed by this fear, I sought comfort and protection, and the only one capable of providing it, the Almighty God. Every day that I was able, I was in the rickety chapel, praying to God for protection. I also met and befriended the chaplain inside, who changed my life forever. By simply inviting me regularly into meaningful faith conversations and forcing me to think. I remember the, the moment that everything clicked. The chaplain had finished explaining God's sovereignty and why evil exists in the world. And I was convinced, without a shadow of a doubt, that the single most important thing in life is to realize that we are all sinners. And the only way to redemption is through the atonement and infinite love of our Messiah. In that moment, I accepted the love of Christ into my heart and became a true believer. My world was slipped upside down, or in reality, right side up. It wasn't an instant change in behavior, but I began to steadily separate myself from the things of this world. The Lord brought me and every single man in my unit home safely. When I got home, I made the conscious decision that I would pursue a career in ministry rather than a career in medicine. Since then, my faith and my calling have continued to develop and deepen through the study of apologetic theology. On September 26, 2021, I was baptized in the Church of the Nazarene. It was one of the greatest days of my life. And in 2022, I received my local minister's license from Bethany First Church of the Nazarene aspirations of becoming a global missions pastor. I'm so grateful for the way Jesus transformed my life, and I can't wait to see where he leads next. I know wherever he leads, I will follow. Thank you.